Hey everybody. So I know it's been a little while since I've been on, but I'm just like the rest of America right now. We are on lockdown at our homes, you know, due to the coronavirus. So we won't get into a lot on that. Everybody knows what's up. Just wash your hands. That's the only thing I know to tell you. But um, so this video is basically going to be an unboxing of some items that I bought off of Poshmark. So basically, I'm just going to talk a little bit about how you can source online to find items if you're unable to go to your local thrift store to shop or wherever it is that you normally shop. You know, all those places are closed down, at least in our area. So, you know, Posh has been slow. I don't know if you're on Mercari or eBay, but it seems like all forums right now are slow. So, um, it's been very hard to make sales. I have been lucky I've been able to make sales, but it hasn't been nearly what it was um, back in February and the first part of March. We're having to fight basically for every penny that we make. So be thankful for what you're making and just, you know, keep trying. It's going to be over eventually. Just don't know when. So anyway, this is just going to be super quick. Um, I don't know if I can do this or not yet but I will try. I'm gonna try to insert a picture of an item that I also sourced on Posh. And it was a bracelet that I paid $38 for off of Posh. And I knew what it was, but I don't know if the person knew what it was. I have no idea. I just know they knew it was a good piece of jewelry. And I got it home or got it, um, you know, within a few days after I ordered it, listed it on Mercari and flipped it for $140. So those are the kinds of things that you can do that will help um, make money. Um, it was a, I can't even remember the name of it. I'll see if I can add it in. If not, I'll put it down in a comment below exactly what kind it was. Um, but anyway, so one of the things that a lot of thrifters are having to do right now is source online. There's different ways that you can do that. Um, you can buy from other poshers who are closing out their closet or who are just desperate to make sales and they're selling lots of different kinds of items. Um, you can go to Facebook Marketplace. If they ship, I wouldn't recommend going to someone's house. I have tried that where I went and picked up some items that someone donated to me, and I did not like that. So I probably would just rather stick with this. Um, you can also source from ThreadUp. I have not sourced from them, but I have sourced to send items to them. Um, but this one is specifically from Poshmark. I paid $50, that was with tax and shipping, and there's 10 items. I know what they are because I hand picked them, but I'm gonna show you guys the kind of thing. So basically it ended up being like five bucks a piece, which I would have paid at the thrift store. I actually have not unboxed this yet. I opened it and then I decided the way that it was wrapped up really cute that I would just do an unboxing for you guys. So I haven't listed it or anything like that. Some of these items I got to send to thread up. So anyway, we'll get started. Um, I can put her name as a, in the comments if you guys want to go shop from her i looked before i got online and she is still having this sale um it was basically um four bucks a piece i think on all the items in her closet no matter what the prices were so i just picked out 10 items and then of course with shipping and everything it it came out to 50 dollars. so the first thing and there's a cute little note on here everything is wrapped up it has like a little bow around it with jute which i thought was really cute says, Dear Beth, thank you so much for your purchase, Jenny. So thank you so much, Jenny. She doesn't even know I'm doing this. <laughs> so, all right. So the first thing is a free people. Oh, it's really cute too. It's a little tube top. As you can see, it's just, it's strapless. It doesn't have anything. It's got lace. It's, this is burgundy here with eyelet. And then the rest of it is like a light purple. There's the back. I don't know the specific names of any of these, but this one is a small, it looks like an older free people tag. It's cute though. I mean, that'll be good to list. And all these items being that I paid five bucks, I'm gonna just try to list them and flip them as quick as I can, either here, Mercari, or I'll send it into um, ThreadUp. Um, this one is splendid. This is cute too. This is a size small. It's gray, it ha it's just a little lace tank top. And it is a size small. See, there's the splendid tank. This is really cute. I'm gonna have to show my daughter. She might like it. All right, so this is item number three. All right. This is a, let's see, what is this one? 
This is Free People. I don't know if this is an older or newer tag. It's really cute. It's got an owl on the tag. Um, it's a little tank top. Got this little um, design at the bottom. It has roses. It's purple and maroon. And then it has, it's a racerback tank with lace at the back. And it's a size small. I'll show you the tag. It's a different tag than what I've seen. It's got an owl on it. So that's cute. If y'all know what the names of these are, tell me in the bottom so I don't have to look so hard. This one I know is cute. This has, this is yellow with roses on it. Um, this one is Free People. It's an older tank. That's an older tag. It's just a little tank top. It has orange and yellow roses and it's baby blue. Um, I do see a flaw on this one. There's a little tiny hole by, right by where the tag is, but I'll just disclose it. It's still cute. All right, this is something that's leopard print. I honestly don't even remember what I got, to tell you the truth. Let me see, this is, uh, this is Silence and Noise, so this is Urban Outfitters. I know why I got this one. It's because of the leopard print, you know, because of the, whatever that show is it's on right now that everybody's talking about. Size small, you know, with the guy who currently has Corona. This is a cute little tank top, zips in the back all animal print um here's the tag it's silence and noise which is exclusive to urban outfitters size small that's really cute i don't normally pick up urban outfitters because it's you know the resale is not that great but sometimes i do it just depends so this is staring at stars this is also urban outfitters now all obviously you guys probably already know this but it's gonna have that same rn number as anthro because they all have that same um, RN number, Urban Outfitters, um, Anthropology, and Free People. So this is what it looks like. It's size medium. It's a little dress. It's striped. It's got like some little animal print in the front. It's cute. It's in good condition. And this one is a size medium. All right. These are so cute the way these are wrapped up. I'll have to try that if I send out a bundle. All right. This is a free people. All these are older tags or something because I've never seen any of these tags. Look, there's this one. And it is a little tank top that has butterflies on it. Black. And it has black butterflies and it's like uh, blue. Almost looks like tie-dye, but it's not. And it's got like a high-low type hem. It's really cute. And then at the top, it's got like little smocking. And it's a size small. All right. This is the next one. This is cute. I don't know what it is, but oh, this is um, anthropology. This is Eloise. It's a white top and it has all lace sleeves, which is really cute. It's like an off white color, size small, and it's in good condition. So I ought to be able to either sell that one or send it in one because anthropology stuff seems to do pretty good on thread up. Oh, this is cute too. This is another Urban Outfitters. This one's really cute. It's a size small. It's an all lace tank. Has that but buttons down the front. Let me see, yeah, it truly unbuttons. And just little skinny spaghetti straps. And it's a size small. And then last is two pieces. Um, this one I for sure will probably send to thread up because it looked like it. And I may hold on to it a little bit, but I also got this one number one for the brand and number two because it has leopard print inside it and that's popular right now. So this is a pair of Ralph Lauren pajamas. And as you can tell, underneath the collar in the back is leopard print. It's actually really cute. This is a size medium. It would fit me, but it's burning up hot here right now. It's in good condition. Oh, look, there's a little Ralph Lauren logo on the pocket. And that's a button top. And then these are just the bottoms that match it. And they're just, just your standard pajama bottoms. I don't see a size in those, but I'm sure it's the same size, size medium. Nothing on the bottoms, but it's just red plaid. So I don't know if I'll save those and list them later or what. But anyway, that's everything I bought. So... Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.